Glory to God, hallelujah. My name is Apostle Cedric, and I bring you a prophetic word in Jesus' name. Impress them with your fire. Impress them with your fire. Apostle Paul says, if any man boasts, let him boast in Christ. Hallelujah. So boasting in Christ is legal. That's not my emphasis now. This prophetic word for somebody here who has been asking God for results, asking God for him to get you to a point where you can become a reference for your own generation. You don't want to be a Christian that people can mock. You don't want to be a powerless Christian. God says, impress them with your fire. You know, many of us try to impress people with things that are mundane, things that are temporal and things that are not eternal. For example, you want to impress them with your clothes, with your partner, with your house and your car. All these things shall be tested with fire. Hallelujah. So if fire is the test to things, then the best thing to get is fire. Because fire is the test to things. There are people who are watching me right now. All you want to do is to express God. But let me tell you right now, if you truly are on your journey to express God, you are going to impress people. How do I mean? Your, the overflow of your expression of divinity will impress mortals. And God says, you have to ex, you know, impact them. You have to you know, impress them with your fire. Let your object of boasting not be physical things that can pass away, but it should be your spiritual life. It should be your dedication to God. Let somebody be impressed by how you pray in spite of the things you go through. Let somebody be impressed by how you fast, by how you study, by how you go to church, even though you are prosperous. Let somebody be impressed by the fact that somebody can still be in our generation and has the faith of heroes of old. Impress them with your fire. God bless you. I am praying for you. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. God bless you.